Hey everyone, I've discovered a tool that can increase your productivity and your team's productivity by a very substantial amount. Your work as a developer really revolves around code snippets. You're not creating an app in one go, it's piece by piece, code snippet by code snippet. And this tool, it's called Pieces, and you can find it at pieces.app, helps you manage those code snippets. So they are the sponsor of this video. So let's say that you're working in a team and you want to standardize how you return a response from your API routes, right? So very commonly in Teams, you wanna have one standard way of doing things. So let's say we're creating this kind of Next.js app and in this get route handler, when we have an error, maybe this is the way that we wanna return a response to the front end, right? So we're gonna have some JSON object with a message that's gonna be the actual error. And then maybe we also wanna have a success flag that will be set to false in case there is an error. And what if you wanna save this snippet yourself personally? Because maybe you wanna take a look at it later. So maybe you would open up a node app and you would create a new node and maybe you would paste it in there, right? But here we don't even get proper formatting. It's just very messy. It's not highlighted. So this is also not an optimal way of dealing with this code snippet. Instead, what you may wanna consider is this pieces app and I have already installed this, so I'm gonna open it up now. And this is what you get on a clean install. So what I can do here, I still have it on my clipboard. I can just control V here. The pieces immediately detects that I'm trying to paste something. It immediately formats it and highlights the syntax here. It can see that it's a TypeScript snippet, so it already uh, is giving me some suggestion here. And now I have added this to my collection of snippets. So here on the left side, you're going to see all your snippets. So very cool pieces immediately adds a bunch of context here. So it immediately adds a description. It also immediately adds these tags. And it also suggests searches that I can make here if I want to learn more about this. Let's say you're trying to learn a new technology. Maybe you're learning Next.js and you're confused about certain code snippets. You can paste it in here and pieces will actually help you out here. It will suggest these searches that you could make to learn more about about it and it also does that through these links so these are very helpful because let's say i'm going to click on this one javascript.info and on this link that they suggested i may see other code snippets that are of interest to me so here for example about the synchronicity of try catch i'm like hey this is also useful to know well so i could copy this and paste it into pieces or even easier pieces also has a chrome extension so with every code block you actually get these buttons here from pieces they actually have three options here I can click copy and save and now it's saved. So now when I go back here, you can see I have another addition here in my list, which now also has been enriched with all of this extra metadata about this snippet, right? So it also keeps track of the origin site. So if I ever wonder where did, where did I get this from again? Well, here you found it. Immediately get other suggestions if I want to learn more. Right, so this is also really useful if you're in learning mode, you're learning something, you get into this cycle of learning essentially, where every time you're going to see some other snippet that you can learn more about, pieces will suggest more relevant information. You click on one of those links, you find more code snippets, etc. Right, so a really efficient way of learning. Or what I have personally, for example, is when I work on a new project, often I have to implement things that I've already done before. For example, billing logic. If I'm creating a new project and I have to implement billing, well, well, usually what I would do is I would I would open up Visual Studio Code, find the folders from my previous projects. I have to open a bunch of files trying to find those snippets of code that I know I have somewhere, but I just don't know where. Well, instead, what I could do now is I could store those code snippets here in pieces. So next time I want to learn about billing or maybe about how to return a response from my API routes, I can just search for that. So in this case, for example, I want to know my standard way of dealing with responses from Next.js API routes, I can search for next response and it will give me all the snippets that are related to that, right? So a nice centralized place where I have stored all of my code snippets. So over time, as I switch projects or teams or even companies, if I have to implement something that I know I've done before, I can quickly open up pieces, get all the relevant snippets and implement a new feature super fast, right? So very beneficial for your productivity. Right, so pieces consists of a couple of things. So here I have the actual pieces desktop app. And then here in the browser, I have the pieces Chrome extension. So with any code block here, I'm, I'm on this javascript.info website. But if I go to some Stack Overflow question, for example, maybe I'm learning or reading about billing and you land on Stack Overflow and you find some interesting snippets here and you're like, oh yeah, this could be useful or I wanna store this. I can immediately hover this and 
pieces here will inject this button for me on the page. I can save it, two pieces, click once. In two seconds, it's saved. And next time here, I come here, it's right here waiting for me, automatically enriched with AI, with all of this useful information in case I wanna know more. And this works with any code block. It's not just for these websites. In this case, you may actually be using ChatGPT in case you have programmer questions. It also works in ChatGPT. And then there is also the extension here that you can install for your code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code here, but also works in the JetBrains suite of tools. You can just, what we saw, what I did is you can select all of this instead of manually copy and pasting, which is perfectly fine actually. But what you can also just do a bit easier is, is just right click and you can click save to pieces. And this will also save it to pieces, right? So pieces works in the tools that you're already using. It's here in my code editor. It's in my browser. It's also in chat app. So if, you, if you're using Teams or Slack, you can use pieces as well. And it doesn't only work with text, it also works with images. So often when you're on social media on YouTube or Instagram, a lot of those code snippets that content creators are sharing are often in image format or on YouTube, it's in a video format. So what you can do actually is you can take a screenshot or image, right? So let me take a screenshot here. Let's say I'm watching this amazing tutorial and I'm like, mm, yeah, I need this code snippet. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that code snippet and then I can click and drag this image file here onto pieces so i'm gonna drop it now and pieces will do some nice ocr it will extract the text the code from that image and so now you can see this image here i can click on view as code and now it has been transformed to code it has now also been added just like any other snippet and again automatically enriched with all this information all this metadata about this code snippet right so really amazing feature here very efficient very low barrier to get started essentially all right so now we've got a bunch of snippets in here what else can we do here well we can actually edit this so we can actually make this title maybe more precise. And on the right side here, we also have some options so we can just copy this. We can share it with the rest of the world and some other things as well. But one thing we can do here is we can go into edit mode. So if I click on edit mode here, we get a new menu on the right side, which actually has some really cool AI features as well. For example, here it says modify snippet for improved performance. So this is mostly useful if you have maybe a larger snippet and maybe you're still a beginner or it's a complicated snippet and you wanna, you wanna let AI take a look at it and see if it can improve the performance, right? So here we could try this out. I could, I, I don't know if it's actually gonna change something here because this snippet is quite straightforward. Um, it looks like it actually did change something here. Yeah, so it did change something and we could take a look and if that actually, and see if that actually would improve the performance, of course. One other thing we can also do here is we can change it to improve readability and understanding. So here, this snippet may not be super easy to read right now. I can click on this and in a few seconds, we should see an improved version of that with some nice uh, comments here, right? So here now, uh, it's a it's better structured now and this is much easier to consume right very nice feature as well i think one other more advanced feature here is let's say we want to have this snippet but now it's all about stripe right so stripe is a payment vendor but we may want to consider switching to a different payment provider later so we don't necessarily want these snippets to be specific to one vendor we want to make it a little bit more general we want to boilerplate this so we can actually click on this it will change this so that it's not only about stripe anymore it's now been replaced with some module which we can then use to replace stripe with some other third-party vendor right so also a really cool feature if we're finished here we can save that however i will just undo that i want to keep the original in this case right so those were some really useful features also when you're writing for example technical documentation or maybe you're writing a technical blog post for your company really helpful that you can change the readability immediately add some comments so whenever you have to create technical content this is also a tool that i think can be very useful all right so one important other feature that we can do of course is we can share this with other people, right? So in the beginning, I was talking about an example of maybe standardizing the way that we do responses and API routes in our team. And of course, we need to be able to talk to other people about that. So one thing we can do here is we can click on generate shareable link. If I click here, it will generate a link for me. We can also generate a GitHub gist for this. However, for now, we will just use this link. And the other person does not need pieces for this, but it is beneficial if other people in the team also use pieces. However, we can just share this like this and then just open it up and now the other person will receive this code snippet that person will now also get all of that related metadata so it will see the title it will see the description 
will see these tags and other links to read more about this code snippet. And very importantly, it can see related people. So especially in a big team, for example, maybe you're working with 50 or 100 other developers, you may have a question about how to return errors from API routes. Well, pieces will actually show you who else is related to that type of information. So if you want to ask a question about that, or maybe you want to do some pair programming, you can approach these people that are suggested here and you can say hey pieces suggested that you may know a little bit more about this code snippet can you help me out right so really helpful for letting you know who to talk to about this code snippet now we don't have to share these code snippets with a link you can use pieces also in a chat app like microsoft teams and in teams they actually have some additional features so they make it very easy to discuss these code snippets in your team all right, so if we go back to Pieces desktop app here, there are some other cool features here as well. For example, the workflow activity. So over time, it will keep track of what you've been doing. So if you ever forget about what you did, maybe you changed something, maybe you added or deleted something and you want to know when that happened or, or what happened, you can go into workflow activity and look up what happened. One of the most powerful features in Pieces is that they also have an AI co-pilot, which allows you to essentially chat with an LLM about your code snippets. So if I go to one of my snippets here, let's say I pick this one, right? So we had, we had the image and now it's been translated to code. Now I can click on launch copilot and now I can start chatting with this copilot and the copilot will already be loaded with this context. So this is even more powerful than GitHub copilot because the GitHub copilot does not have the context of all those snippets that you saved over time, right? So now I can start chatting with this copilot and it will take now this particular code snippet into consideration. Right, so now let's say a new developer is getting onboarded onto a team and that new developer can just chat with this co-pilot. For example, how should I validate search params in my app? And the co-pilot will take that into consideration with any answers that you get. And right, so give me a code example. Right, and now you get a nice chat here, taking into consideration the specific code snippets that you saved. Right? And it will immediately also suggest follow-up questions. So you can keep asking, keep learning. This is very efficient for onboarding new developers. And this copilot is also available in your code editor as well as using that browser extension. So that was the third button that you saw when you hover the uh, code blocks. You can essentially chat with an LLM. Right, So here I can ask some questions. How to return error from Next.js API routes. Right, and I can get into this chat interface and you can even pick the model here. So here I'm using the standard uh, 3.5 GPT, but very powerfully, I can change this. So here you can use the open AI models, but maybe your company doesn't want you to uh, use these services on the internet, maybe for security reasons or other reasons, you wanna keep this co-pilot chat on device. So this actually works offline as well. You can download one of these other models like uh, Facebook's or Meta llama model you can download this on your computer it's a 7 billion parameter model so it will take up some space it's going to be slightly less powerful of course than the uh, cloud models but this is an option for you if you want to do all of this offline on device so copilot is not only available here in the actual desktop app it's also available in your code editor so here when you install the extension you will actually see pieces here on the left side and here you can actually also see all of your snippets so here I can uh, find all of my snippets here. Let me open this up a little bit more. So here I have my snippets about uh, error handling in Next.js. And if I open up my terminal, I will actually see pieces copilot here as well. So here I can also chat with an LLM with pieces. I can do it offline on device as well, as well as in the cloud. So you don't have to switch to the pieces app. If you don't like context switching, you don't want to change anything in your workflow in terms of which programs you have open and then switching between programs pieces already works in the apps that you're already using that's what's a low friction tool so pieces also works with obsidian for example and it's just a really cool tool i think i want to thank pieces for sponsoring this video really amazing tool also really like the design they also have this gallery here by the way if you quickly want to uh, scroll through your snippets in like a social media feed type of setting but overall it's a very powerful ai tool that smooths out your own developer workflow as well as collaboration with other developers so i would say check it out the website is pieces.app they have an open source initiative 
initiative soon so if you're interested in that check it out and then i want to thank you for watching this video hopefully this was something that's of interest to you my react and next js course is coming out very soon make sure you subscribe to the email newsletter so thank you for watching and i hope to see the next one bye